as we enter a brand new month, there are a ton of new cozy games scheduled to release, but which ones should you play? Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, and today I will be sharing my top picks for new cozy titles and game updates releasing throughout the month ahead. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. First up today is Quilts and Cats of Calico, a digital adaptation of an award-winning puzzle game developed by Monster Couch, who kindly sponsored this portion of today's video. Quilts and Cats of Calico is a wholesome virtual board game where your main objective is to create a quilt from pattern fabric scraps. The game offers a story mode campaign set in a world inspired by Studio Ghibli, where cats have great influence over people's lives. Perfect your craft as you sew your way through a city of cats and help the townsfolk you meet along your journey through the power of quilting and kindness. The story mode will introduce you to the game's different puzzle mechanics one step at a time. However, I would strongly recommend playing through the tutorial first if you're brand new to the game because it will provide you with additional guidance. Outside of the story mode, you can enjoy playing different game modes solo or with up to four players in multiplayer. You can play with friends, random players, or against AI of varying difficulty levels, which is great for practicing and strategizing. To create the perfect quilt, cleverly sew together different colors and patterns of fabric to earn points based on different design goals. Combine three tiles of the same color to sew on an adorable button, and if you play your tiles right and collect every color of button on your quilt, you'll actually get to sew on the vibrant rainbow button and earn even more points. Another way to achieve bonus points is by attracting a variety of cats who have unique preferences for bedding patterns specifically. You can also interact with the cats who will roam around as you play, petting them or shooing them if they get in the way. You can even create and name your own cats who will roam the board as you play with fairly detailed creator tools. You can adjust most of the cat's appearance, even including fur patterns and colors. And my personal favorite was of course browsing through the adorable and fun accessories. I just had to make a sushi cat. The game's soothing soundtrack, coupled with the very tactile experience of creating quilts, makes it a great title to kick back and relax with. If you love cats, puzzles, vibrant colors, and pretty patterns, you might like to give Quilts and Cats of Calico a try. The game is out now on Steam, and I also have good news for many of you because it will be coming to the Nintendo Switch with cross-platform multiplayer, though we don't have a confirmed release date just yet. Next up, we have Summer House, a tiny building game where you get to create neighborhoods of beautiful lived-in homes with no rules or restrictions, just pure creativity. Build to your heart's content across a variety of settings, including the sea, the city, and the mountains. Soak up the vibes of long lost summer afternoons and enjoy discovering little secrets as you build. There is a demo currently available for the title on Steam if you'd like to give it a try ahead of its release. I personally loved kicking back with it to create some adorable buildings. The design mechanics were very tactile and satisfying. This sweet and simple title was created by a solo developer and is releasing on March 8th on Steam. Then we have Lightyear Frontier, a peaceful open world world farming adventure game set on a planet at the far edge of the galaxy. Build your homestead, farm sustainably, grow alien crops, customize and upgrade your mech, and explore a mysterious vibrant world as you enjoy a low-stress, combat-free experience. As you settle in, you'll need to carefully manage your relationship with the ecosystem by planting new trees to replace those you harvest, and work to restore the surrounding regions by cleaning up pollution and invasive weeds. Turn resources into buildings, decorate to your heart's content, and uncover the world's ancient secrets. Plus, you can even enjoy this experience with up to three friends in co up. Let Your Friend Here is releasing into early access on PC, Xbox Series S and X, and Xbox Game Pass on March 19th. Also releasing on March 19th is Stardew Valley's 1.6 update for the PC, an exciting surprise for fans of this famous farming sim. The game's developer, Concerned Ape, has shared that the update will include a new major festival, along with two new mini festivals, new late game content expanding on the skills, new items and crafting recipes, Joja alternatives to some of the endgame quests, 100 plus new lines of dialogue, winter outfits for the villagers, 
Rewarders, a new type of reward for completing billboard requests, PC support for 8-player multiplayer, a new farm type, new secrets, adjustments, and more. The update will also be coming to console and mobile, but no confirmed date for these platforms just yet. If you've been waiting for a reason to dive back into Stardew Valley or would like to pick it up for the first time, perhaps the 1.6 update would be the perfect time to do so. Next, we have Princess Peach Showtime, an action-adventure title starring none other than Princess Peach herself. Help Peach save the Sparkle Theater from the Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch, who have stolen the show and set the stage for tragedy. Joined by Stella, the theater's guardian, Peach will undergo various transformations, each with unique abilities, powers, and objectives. I am so excited for this game. It looks like it's going to be a ton of fun, and I do have a number of videos covering it on my channel, which I will have linked in the description if you'd like to learn more. Princess Peach Showtime releases on March 22nd for the Nintendo Switch, and I just can't wait to play. Then we have Palea's highly anticipated Steam release, landing on March 25th. Palea is a cozy MMO life simulation title where you can enjoy an always evolving adventure as you explore a vibrant new world, make your dream home, befriend and romance charming characters, and participate in your favorite activities like fishing, farming, foraging, cooking, bug catching, mining, hunting, and crafting. Live off the land, explore various temples, and discover the world's mysteries through exciting quests and lore. Enjoy the game on your own or with others, all at your own pace. Palea is currently in beta, is a free-to-play title, and is already out via their native launcher, the Epic Game Store, and on Nintendo Switch. So if you just can't wait until the Steam launch, you can choose to play on one of these other platforms. But if you're just getting into the game, I do stream and make videos about Palea quite often, so be sure to check out my channel for tons of content, including useful tips and tricks if you're just getting started. Finally for today, we have another game launching on Steam for the first time, and that is another one of my personal favorites. Chia. Chia is a tropical open world adventure game and tells a poetic coming of age story inspired by New Caledonia. You play as Chia, who sets off to rescue her father from the evil Miavora, ruler of the archipelago. As you explore, you will climb, glide, swim, and sail your boat around beautiful islands throughout a physics-driven sandbox. One of my favorite aspects of Chia are the soul jumping mechanics, where you can take control of any animal or object you find. You can even jam on a fully playable ukulele and perform unlockable melodies to trigger special effects within the world. This title offers an indescribably beautiful experience within a game, and I would highly recommend checking it out when it releases later this month on Steam, though we don't yet have a specific date just yet. But if you just can't wait to dive in, Chia is also available via the Epic Games Store and on PlayStation 4 and 5. Well, there you have it friends, those are the new cozy games and updates that I have my eye on and I think you should too. Let me know which of these titles you are most excited for and plan to play, which ones you are very curious about, anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. Please go ahead and shine the lovely like button if you are excited for yet another month of amazing gaming. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching, I love you all, and until next time, take care.